Time for a fish room tour. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian from AquaticSupportSystems.com and Brian's Fish Tanks. I'm going to give you a end of 2018 fish room tour for December and I uh, thought I would uh, try to get one in before the year ends. But before I do that, a couple of quick announcements. Um, a a couple different things. First, <clears throat> if you buy Southern Delight fish food from us at AquaticSupportSystems.com, I want to let everybody know ahead of time that the prices are going to go up slightly in 2019, early 2019. I'm not sure exactly when yet, um, within the first week or two, I would think. So keep that in mind. Um, if you uh, want to stock up now and get the old pricing, uh, it would be a perfect time to do so. Also, um, some new packaging for Southern Delight fish food um, is coming up. We've got these one pound bottles that we're gonna start doing and they'll be the shaker bottle like you're used to if you buy the, um, the regular size bottles. So keep your eye out for this. This will be coming in the first part of the year um, for the one pound. Some of them are gonna be a little more than one pound uh, because of the size of the pellet and stuff. Uh, different amounts fit in the, in, in, in the bottle but at any rate I'll roll that out um, you know coming up uh, in the next month or so um, maybe a few weeks but I just wanted to give everyone a heads up on that too that that's coming the other thing I wanted to talk about is that uh, we're carrying quite a few more products than you may be used to on aquatic support systems.com um, we've started carrying heaters We've started carrying some Seachem products. At this point, just water conditioner stuff like Safe and uh, Prime and that type of thing. We're carrying some Mag Float magnets. If you're into salt water, we're carrying Reefroids. We've started carrying Chemi Pure, and we're going to be adding um, more products, including um, some some additional fish foods. All right, so let's get on with the tour. All right, YouTube, so we're gonna start the fish room tour off here uh, down in the basement. Um, we'll start uh, with the flower horn. As you can see, the loaches are no longer in the tank. I've moved them and I'll show you um, where they are. This is a uh, red, uh, excuse me, a uh, King Comfa 9.9 .9 flower horn. And he's doing just great. Um, I just, every time I look at him, I can't get over the awesome design and everything. Um, shouldn't say design, but awesome pattern and coloration on this fish. Um, he's real fun to, to uh, hang out with. He's got a good personality and uh, just really fun. So this is, his name's Colossus and uh, he's probably in the, uh, I don't know, 12 inch range at this point. So. Down below is uh, one of my Midas pairs. Um, this female came from Cheeto's uh, tank. Um, I, you remember from uh, my last few videos that uh, I changed um, uh, Cheeto's female and then they did spawn. I'll get more to that later. This is the kind of a uh, rogue fry that's just continued to grow like crazy. He's probably five inches now. Waiting to see if he's gonna color up or become just be like a barred Midas and then of course the big guy here he's looking real good um, I'm not sure if these guys will ever spawn she never spawned with Cheeto well she did spawn one time a long time ago with Cheeto but uh, we'll see if anything happens here um, but uh, if nothing else it's just a fun tank to watch and uh, these fish are looking great um, up here is the uh, red magma flower horn. Um, as you can see, uh, before he turned around, he does have a little wound on him, but uh, that'll be okay. He must have just hit something in the tank. Um, see if we can get him riled up at all, but uh, he's doing great. The moda that I had in here temporarily is now gone, so it's just him again. And. Uh, Things are going well with that fish. Uh, down below is this Moda pair that basically nothing's been going on. Sorry for all the water spots on this tank. Um, I don't know, for some reason this tank is the worst for water spots, but this Moda now is probably 12 inches with the tail. The female is just hiding in this pot like usual. 
she's just too small for him. For, at one point, I thought that they were really going to be getting along and uh, pair off, but that has since gone away, unfortunately. So, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do about this situation. I may take that other male that I'll show you in a little bit, put in with her. Although I tried that once before and it didn't work. And then put him in another tank, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, <clears throat> going over here to the Feste tank. Um, they recently spawned and there's some eggs in the back of the tank there. Um, sorry about the scratches there, but um, it is what it is. They're doing good. Um, you know, they, like I say, they spawned uh, a couple of days ago and I'm looking forward to seeing. They did spawn once before, it was a very small spawn. This is a small spawn too, but this is a little bit bigger. And uh, they made it to Wigglers and then that was it. But uh, yeah, they're doing good. Feste pair down below is the Trimac rollout tank. Still got them all. Still waiting to see if um, the other pair across the room, um, if things can go good with them, then I may get rid of some of these. But there's been no pairing off in here of any kind recently. But we'll just continue to watch this situation and decide what we want to do. <clears throat> Redis Latest are doing well. No spawning activity, but uh, they're doing well nonetheless. The big boy right here and then the female in her tube where she likes to spend most of her time. You can tell a little lick blocking has been going on because she does have a little bit of a scarred limb. This guy's nuchal hump is massive. Really fun fish to keep. Down below we have the Hadiensis pair. They're doing well. They've been spending a lot of time back by this heater, so I'm wondering if they spawned and I didn't quite catch it and they got some wigglers hanging out back there. Uh, there's a couple of rogue fry in there that have survived. But overall they're doing good. Haven't seen a spawn from them in a couple of months now, but uh, I do have a bunch of fry from a prior spawn that are available if anybody's looking for some. Shipping's a little tricky this time of year, but we can do Delta Cargo, which is one day, same day, airport to airport. Uh, moving on over to the Wildcat Umbi tank. This is Magnus, the male. You know, he's just getting older and uh, doesn't look as good as he once did, but he's still a fun fish to have. Um, he's got, he keeps hitting his, his head on the top of the tank, which is unfortunate. You can see a little scarring there on the very top of the nuchal area. Um, Beast is hiding in her cave, like always. Not much to see there, but... He still can get feisty. He's got a little bit of what could be starting a hole in the head right there. I'm not quite sure. Comment below if you think that that is the start of hole in the head. Um, he's had it before and I've been able to get rid of it with just basically, you know, water changes and that type of thing. So quite a beast though, that's for sure. And then his son, Optimus, is down here. F1, Rio Magumbi. And then the female Matrix is in the tube right now, but they are showing spawning behavior lately, doing a lot of lip locking. She's kind of getting um, that blonde color on her. I wish she would come out. She was out just before I started shooting the video. But they're doing well, and uh, we'll see if they don't give us a spawn soon. I moved the sil Silver Arowana over to this other 210 over here, along with this one Moda. 
This Moda is just stunning to me. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. I'm pretty sure it's a male. If you're versed in Motas, um, comment below and let me know if that is a male or not. Um, Sean Hyden, if you're watching the video, uh, you would obviously know because this came from you. But the silver arowana is a good 20 inches at this point, just to give you some uh, perspective. It's always hard to tell on video. I threw the eight silver dollar red hooks over here and then I put the uh, clown loaches in here. So I got a really fun active tank in this. I'll kind of do a step back and sometimes that helps uh, to get a little perspective. These are just all the tanks that I just uh, went through already, starting over there. And then the Feste, Trimax, Hadiensis, and Redis Latest, Magnus, and so forth and so on. Okay, up here is that other Trimac pair. They spawned, and as recently as last night, there was still some free swimming fry. As of this morning, they're all gone. And now he's harassing her to beat all heck again. It's getting pretty frustrating with this pair because... Uh, they, they are paired off and they've spawned with me now once and the prior owners several times. You can see she's got marks on her because he's just really rough on her. But, you know, they laid eggs in this pot right here and we're doing great together guarding the eggs. And then when the fry, I don't know, the fry hatched maybe three or four days ago and they've been doing good. There was a nice cloud of fry around them and then, you know stuff just happens and so it's unfortunate but anyway trimax are doing good um he's not the biggest of all the males i have but he's definitely the best looking and uh, when she's not scarred up and stuff she's great looking too um we got some fry tanks over here um some midas some hadiensis and some more hadiensis and some more hadiensis so I do, as you can see, have plenty of Hadiensis available. Ten of these have already been purchased and not picked up yet, but uh, the rest are available and for sale. So um, if you're looking for some, I think I misspoke. I said that these were Hadiensis too. These are actually Midas as well. So I got Midas, Hadiensis, Midas, and then nothing, and then more Hadiensis. These guys are just eating a Sarah O'Nip, which is... Uh, Kind of a neat little stick on the glass uh, food treat type thing that uh, we're carrying now at aquatic support systems too so if you're interested in that um, for a tank this size i put a little too much in there and it's kind of clouding up the water but as you can see it's cool they can pick on it on the glass but also the granules come down and they can just eat right out of the water column too so i've been using that a lot to feed fry lately um, so yeah, um, that's it for the basement. We'll take you upstairs real quick. All right, so I'm gonna start by showing you the 90 gallon planted, um, cause I haven't shown that a lot lately because it's been in disarray, but things are really on the up and up. I've kind of got a hold of the Blackbeard algae problem and uh, I've got the carpet really growing. I mean, I see daily progress and how I monitor it mostly is this spot. This was a big, huge spot of gravel or of substrate that was open because I, I, I just kind of left it that way. And as, and then daily I can see that it's closing up more and more and basically that area and then this front section, once that's all carpeted, we'll have a basically a nice complete carpet. I've got some Erio Vietnam planted within the rock structure. And there's a little bit of Fissidens Fontanus growing at some of the peaks. As you can see, there's uh, Cardinal Tetras and then red cherry shrimp. Ooh, there's a really nice cherry shrimp right there. I want to get some more cherry shrimp for this tank, so um, it'll look really cool to have cherries climbing all over the mountain, so to speak. But things are really on the up and up finally for this tank. Cross my fingers that it'll continue to do well. And then finally, we've got Cheeto and my reflection there and the reflection of the planted tank. Uh, we're not going to do real well with that, but they're basically ready to spawn again or maybe have now i haven't checked this pot today no i don't think i see any eggs in there 
but they've been showing a lot of spawning behavior. You can see her tubes down. And uh, if you didn't see the video that I put up about them eating all the fry, they did eat all the fry from that spawn. I also had a prior video to that where I um, showed you the massive cloud of fry that they had on their first successful spawn. I call it successful because we had free swimmers, but they didn't last, so I don't know really how successful a person would be able to call that. But anyway, it's good to know that they're interested in each other and they're, they're spawning. Um, and they're still continuing to show spawning behavior, so that's cool. Well, thanks for watching the video. Um, I appreciate all you guys that subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel and this is the first time you're seeing it and you like what you see, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, um, also the notification bell. Make sure you give this video a like. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Um, tell me what you think uh, of the fish. Uh, let me know what your favorite fish is. Let me know if there's any products that you'd like aquatic support systems to carry um, in the um, new year, 2019. Um, and uh, if you are looking for fish food, fish related products, uh, make sure you go check out aquaticsupportsystems.com and uh, let's see if we can help you out at all. Thanks again for watching and have a great 2019.